YouTubers, it's Jeff the maintenance guy. We're back up here on the roof. Nice hundred degree weather and the sun's just bearing down on everything. Ah. Anyway, um, right here I got a straighter valve tool just how to change a straighter valve. Straighter valves like what you see in a bicycle. I'll show you a new one. We got here what a straighter valve looks like and these are inside of here not to let the refrigerant out when you hook your hoses on there it uh, presses against the little nub right there and it opens the valve so the refrigerant can come out now they do make a tool for this in the straighter valve tool now I've already connected this and then I thought I'd, that's all I really did but we're just gonna Unscrew the strider valve. There's a little notch in here And we're gonna pull this out Close the valve We're gonna unscrew this and hopefully on the end when I get it. I'll have an old strider valve Hey, look at that First time's a charm that never happens right there. There's the strider valve There's a little piece of rubber as you see there's a bar with it. See if I can get this focused. I know it's loud up here. I'm sorry about that. But, uh, comes with the territory. See if I can do this one handed. And we'll try to put the straighter valve back on there. Let's see. Excuse me, I'm sorry. There we go. Put the new straighter valve on there. And take the cap, put it back up like that. I'm coming back in here. So I was looking at my camera instead of what I was doing. Screw this back down tight. So now refrigerant gets out. Open the valve. And that'll allow this to go forward. And then start screwing it. There you go. Nice and tight. Now you can just, well, actually, roll a thumb here. Sorry. After you tighten that up, pull that away, close the valve, and then twist. Because the whole unit sometimes will twist. If that's on the straighter valve, then you're loosening the straighter valve. And you're gonna get you're gonna get a nice nicely there but there you go there's one and that's how you do it um same thing with the high side this unit is low on refrigerant so i'm gonna leave it low until i change both straighter valves because i'm not sure exactly but my leak detector was detecting a hit on this low side and it was detecting a small hit on the high side but i can't tell but good rule of thumb Replace both straighter valves. If you're going to replace one, replace the other. They're cheap enough. I mean, come on. Jeff, the maintenance guy. Um, be safe out there, YouTubers. And have a great day.